Yo, what is going on guys? It's Soros Fox here today, bringing you Season 2, Episode 4 of the Aston Villa Survival Challenge. So, many of you wondering, will I keep my job? Yes, I bloody have. We've had one loss since the last episode. Uh, we beat Southampton 3-1 at Villa Park in the league. Ronald Koeman got in, well, Ronald Koeman got the sack. So he's no longer the manager, but I can tell you, Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank has got the job there. Uh, so yeah, we beat Southampton 3-1, but then we went on to draw 1-1 with Leicester City. Shane Long, yeah, Shane Long just scoring goals in all these matches, except this match, Jordan Ayew. Uh, we beat Anderlecht for our first European victory, then we lost 2-0 to Chelsea, always expected. And we draw 0-0 to Norwich. Chances were missed. S uh, Sebastian Bassong and Albanors. Uh, Milko Albanors got sent off. And we went a smashed and elect 4-0. Shane Long yet again scoring goals. So is Jordan Ayew. Then we went and draw 0-0 at Villa Park to Burnley. So like I said... Swansea, Zenit, and Tottenham will be in this episode in the last. Well, if I said, if I said, in, I don't know that. let me say that again. In the last episode, I said that if I have my job, we'll come back on the Swansea match. I'm gonna play Swansea, Zenit, and Tottenham in the episode, which we are. Also, as you saw, consortium plans for takeover bid, whatever, whatever. Basically, some French guy wanted to take over the club. That fell through because of basically it said it could have happened well it was getting closer to happening and then all of a sudden out of nowhere the deal broke down so Randy Lerner is still the chairman of the club but it's good anyway because we picked up our form so yeah we've got a bit of money in the transfer budget as well don't know where that actually came from it just came up saying we got granted 10 million pound so yeah like I said don't know where that come from we're still only just above the relegation zone though with two victories in the league, three draws and six losses. So, yeah. Let's go and play against Francesco Guidolin's Swansea side. For the first game of the episode. So these are the teams to play today. Sergio Romero, Ali Sissoko, Eric Bailey, Robert Hoof, Danny Simpson, Adama Traore. Uh, Vera 2, Antonio Nascerino, because he's been quite good lately. Scott Sinclair and the, the quite great partnership at the moment, Jordan Ayew and Shane Long. They're playing Fabianski, Anger, Jose Angel, Federico Fernandez, Jordi Ammat, Svensson, Al Kadori, Marwan Fellaini, Jack Cor, Gilfi Sigurdsson, Edda and Bashuai. Fair two with the corner. Oof. Oh, Eric Bailey scored for Aston Villa. <coughs> Get in there. That's fantastic, that is. Three, as we're going to see here. Ball in the box. Eric Bailey on the front post. Touch, touch. Tap in the back of the net. Get three players around him, but they all couldn't do nothing. How fantastic. That's Ali Sissoko. Antonio Noscherino. Jordan Veratu. Scott Sinclair. Can he play a ball for him? No, Jordi and Matt with a good inception. <clears throat> but the ball's been played to Bashu Waii and he's made it 1 1. <coughs> ah, not very good. You moved up to 15th now, back down to 17th. Crap. S there was no one there. He had this open space to run in. And then Bailey, he could have done ball, but he didn't. Edir for Swansea. Al Kadori. Bashu Waii. Ball been played through. Sick. No, it's not. It's not how it should be. It's not how it should be. They've just scored. Not good. Not very good. But yet again, it's just simple defending. That's not been dealt with. Romero, he went the wrong way. Bit stupid, really. But oh well. Scott Sinclair, can he do something? Antonio Nocherino plays it to Long, but he's played it back, and now I do. No. Bailey wins it, back club to Edder. Bashi Wai. Edder. Nah. Al Kadori. Svensson. 
Alcadori Sigurdsson. What, what's happening? Oh, good save, Romero. Can we actually get the ball and clear it? Nope, Sigurdsson's put it wide. Romero with the goal kick up. It's Adama Traore. Slip, slips it through to Shane Long. Shane Long. Back to Jordan Ayew. And Fabianski saved. But we have got a thank you PR here. Because we're, in a, we're down in 18th. Shit, West Ham are winning. That's not good. So, our ball in the box and Robert Hoof, man. Has scored his first goal for Aston Villa and he's made it 2-2. Two -two. I'm not even paying attention to the game because I'm trying to watch the Euros as well. I'm not even paying attention. Sorry about that, my mic's kind of slipped down a bit, but... Robert Hoof scored a goal. Get in there. Edu, Jose Angel. No, nope, nothing's come from it. Here we go. Sick, uh, Sissoko. Vera two. So Scott Sinclair, can he make an attacking play happen? Antonio Noscherino. Adama, nah, loses it. So Gilfie Sigurdsson. He's got the good long passing ability. Gives it to Gomez, but he's bad touch. He's lost the ball. Adama, can we get? Can we do something? Ball's just been floated around everywhere here. Bashuai, no, no, he's in the box. He's made it, and he's made it three bastard two. Nah, it's cut. Nah, nah. Hopefully we can come back. But it's just yet again simple stuff. And fuck all. So he gets past. Just look at that. Good bit. Ash, nah. Bleh. Them two players. Robert Hoof and Danny Simpson being tossers. Just watching the ball. Not doing anything to stop Bashuai. And he's gone through. Robert Hoof to Bailey as I'm saying that. Could be. No, okay. Hang out. No. Nope. Okay, Gomez, Alcadori, good good interception there by Sissoko, Fellaini, Jose Angel, Bashuayi, Baffertimbi, Gomez, and Romero saves it, but gives it to bloody Maru and Fellaini off all people. And it's 4 2 Swansea City. This is just. just it's absolutely shocking. Simple defending, simple play, simple this, simple that. Shitty goalkeeping, what the fuck's happening? I don't have a clue anymore. Adama, good bit of passing there. From Vero to Simpson and Adama. Ball's been played through. Danny Simpson, Shane Long can't get there because Federico Fernandez has dealt with the business. But Nosherino gives it to a Vero to. Adama, Shane Long. Turns. Jordan Ayu. Jordan Ayu. Through to Shane Long. He's put it wide. He had to score that. He had to score that. But he didn't. Anything happening going to happen? Anything else going to happen before the end of the match? Ball in the box? No. Vera 2? No. Give the ball away, as we always seem to do. Just lose possession. Then Swansea with a quick counter-attacking play. Just get the ball. And yeah, it's going to be... Looks like it's going to be 4-2 Swansea. My God, let's watch the last 30 seconds of the game. Vera 2? No. Can't even pass the ball to Shane Long. It's quite simple, really. It's just... Eric Bailey should now give away foul. He's going to get sent off. What a tosser. Not really. I'm just annoyed because everything seems to happen. We, st we had a decent start and we've just been shit since then. So, yeah, full time. We lost 4-2. Eric Bailey getting the first goal. Ashwai scoring two. Fellaini and Gilfie Sigurdsson scoring the goals. Very disappointing. Bailey get himself sent off. I'm not putting him back in the team straight away. Things just aren't going very well. So we have to play a tough game next against Zenit. I'm pretty sure where we are in year. Can I have a look at the European tape? I don't know how to do it. Okay, okay. Uh, we're second, so we, we are on verge of qualification. So yeah. If we can just hold out against Zenit and get a draw and beat Sparta Prague or we lose to Zenit and beat Sparta Prague then we should be able to go through so let's go and play Zenit St. Petersburg. so here's the team today Rudy Gestead's getting a rare start so is Jack Grealish also Kieran Clark's going in for Eric Bailey suspension as you can see there they're playing quite defensive so yeah Scott Sinclair's the Scott I said to Shane Long got that. I was going to rest him for this game. Just try keeping him fresh. Because he's been one of the good players so far this season. Scott Sinclair, we've benched him as well. And Caballero gets a start. 
They are. Zenit could go through. They've got a build up of pass in play. Sissoko's done well there to prevent Hulk getting the ball, but he's stupidly give it him. Hulk is made it 1 0 to Zenit. How fantastic. So, yeah, this result basically is not the way we need it to Zenit simply because if we lose, we'll have to beat Sparta Prague to go through to the next round. And we'll just make our work twice as hard. Shatov can even play a ball through to Hulk, he does. Zenit on the attack, and Robert Hoof stupidly give away a penalty. Well, hey, just what we need. I feel like the players have lost all faith in me. I feel like the play old players have just lost faith. Oh, Caballero's made the save. Hulk misses as well. Get in there, Caballero. As I say, that Caballero makes a great save, though, man. Vera 2, can he get rid of it? Shmolikov on the edge of the box. And Soldi. Christito. Uh, kan Kanukikov. Okay, that nothing happened. Shmolikov for Zenit. To Javi Garcia on the edge of the box. Axel Witzel. Back to Javi Garcia. Back to Kanukikov. The Zuba. Shmolikov. Sissoko. Can he do it? Back to Caballeros. Go to Jack Grealish. Can we get a fast paced counter attack? No, we just give the ball straight back to Javi Garcia. Nosherino's won it though. Jordan Ayu. Please, please Ayu. Vera 2. Adama. Please do something. Jordan Ayu, you. Oh, Rudy Gestead. I was going to call him something then. But since Rudy Gestead. Since he put the ball across the box and Rudy Gestead equalised, you know. I but Adama, I I was expecting Ayu to have a shot or something there. I wasn't expecting the ball across, but fair play to Kastead. He's got himself there and got himself a goal. Jordan Vera too. Adama Traore puts it across the box. Ayu, back across, no, wasted opportunity. Kieran Clark, ball back up, no. Vera too, no. Corner, Jack Grealish in the box. Adama Traore on the edge of the box. Grealish back in the box. Grealish again, can he whip one back in? Just try and try again. Gestead, he's had shot and shot after shot after shot. And Vlibin Adama Traore has just put us 2 1 up. Oof, all oh my days, man. All oh my days. As I'm saying, the players have lost faith. And we went with, gone from 1 0 down to pull it back to, to go in 2 1 up. Great character, look at that. All the defensive play there, Costin. Could have been a penalty anyway, so good job he scored. Get in number 2 1 up. And it's half time, so bonus. Let's try keeping it up for the second half. The Zuba. No, nope, don't matter. Jack Grealish for Aston Villa. Gives it to Vera 2. Adama Traore. Can he slip on through to Danny Simpson? No. Gusted knocked it onto Cristito and we've lost the ball. But can we win it back on Osherino there? No. Nope. Kieran Clark. Grealish. Gusted. Jordan Ayu. Back through. Oh, Rudy Gusted's missed by inches. Corner here for Zenit. Hall quips the ball in. Shatov, he's. Shatov thing scored. That may not. Oh, wow. That was really bad. But, you know, out of all players, why let Shatov score? Oh, just look at that. Kamalukov. There you go. Shatov gets it. Realistically, why is Caballero there? And Sissoko could have stopped that. One last attack. Alan Hutton with a throw in gives it to Ansoldi, Cristito, Kanulikov, Jordan Vera 2, and that is it. Aston Villa 2, Zenit, St. Petersburg 2. Wasn't that disappointing, uh, I'll just say. Okay, not too bad. So, yeah, we still got a chance of going through in Europe. We just need a positive result against Sparta Prague. But before that, but, you know, as you know, we've got to play Tottenham. I just like to say thank you to Maurizio Pochettino for his kind words. As he says there, he urges Aston Villa to give me more time. Because it's there, it took several questions, blah de blah de blah. Uh, yeah, as it says there, Sat Saturday's match sees you come up against increasingly under pressure Liam Mills, who is looking less secure in his role at Aston Villa day. That's the minute boy of the day. Head of the match, how do you feel? You know, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I firmly of the opinion the patience in football will be rewarded. The turnover of managers, blah, 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 blah. Of 
because he's a very capable manager. Thank you, Pochettino. Now let's go and play Tottenham and hopefully get a positive result. So there we go, my press conference. I appreciated the support from Pochettino. So yeah, we are actually in 19th. I forgot about that. We're in 19th after 12 games. So this is the team. Shane Long coming back into the starting lineup. Alan Hutton having to come in the starting lineup because of the Danny Simpson suspension. Because of the yellow card, five yellow cards in the league in a row. So yeah, and we've got Caballero starting in goal. As I can see there, they've got Gabriel, Barbar Gabriel Barbosa. The Umbrella and Bolo. Oh, two great two great up and coming players in football and Deli Alley, I should say. You can't forget about Deli Alley. Oh, they've still got Federico Fazio. Oh wait, yeah, he only went on loan, didn't he? Um, okay. So let's go and play Tottenham. Let's go. Immediately Oh, we got a corner. No, maybe not. Deli Alley. Musa Dembele. Gabriel Wabosa. Ball to play through NASA Chadley. Good save from Caballero and Bloody ev same thing that happens every bloody time a football manager. Your keeper makes a great save, and then they just get rebounded and score. Manager. A football manager had so many changes, you know. Keepers need to be massively improved. See, he's made a great save, and then he just sat on his arse. And the defenders around him were just couldn't give two shits where, where the ball was and let him score. Semdo, Deli Ali. Nasser Chadley, Gabriel Barbosa loses the ball, Chadley shoots, Tottenham got a corner. Uh, Christian Eriksen to whip one in, and saved by Caballero. Deli Ali whips it out to the wing for Semedo, Gabriel Barbosa flipping scores and makes it 2 0. Looks like I'm pretty much going to get sacked anytime soon. 13 games, we just play football to save our bloody lives. Semido, good boy in the box. Typical shit. What is Caballero doing? Just feeling like a flying bloody salmon. And then Bob Ops has caught. Half time, just started second half. We're 2 0 down still. But for, as I say, that Fazio, Rose, Ericsson, Gabriel, Tottenham on the attack. Sissoko gives it straight back to Deli Ali. Semido did Braille and Bolo put across the box. Caballero actually made a bloody save. It's fantastic. And we're actually now dropped down to bottom of the league. How very not fantastic. And as I say that, Ericsson, Barbosa, Tottenham on the attack again. Ball, everything's coming to Semedo. Um, but that's Chadley, 3-0. I'm getting sacked after this game. I, I can just feel it. I can just guarantee I'm getting sacked after this game. <laughs> Tim Sherwood got sacked after like 10... The 10 12 games, something like that, maybe 13. You know, unfortunate, stupid. Can't bloody play football. Oh, and yeah, Harry Kane's just gone through and scored for Tottenham. Fantastic. Yeah, no, no, that's definitely me getting minus 17 goal difference. We can't have the ball, we can't pass the ball, we can't shoot the ball, we can't cross the ball. It's basically like 12, it's like basically like 11 bunch of idiots standing there doing fuck all. Oh, okay, yep. Yeah. Well, what's going to happen now? Shane Long passes it to Adama. Are we going to get a late goal, which is going to be pointless? Yep, Kiyotake scores a goal. But that was pointless because one minute added on, so, you know, what's the point in getting the consolation? Yeah, yep, yeah, it's reduced the goal difference by one, but I don't think it's going to really matter. Because I just know I'm probably going to get sacked after this game, and it's very frustrating. Nasser Chadley's gone through anyway, Harry Kane. He's, uh, he's put it over the bar. So, there we have it. We lost 4-1. Just, the game. This just fella, this village. These players don't want me at the club, do they? That bottom of the league. Two wins, three draws, eight losses. They've only scored 12 goals, conceding 29. we on nine points. Shocking. Absolutely bloody shocking. So, this is something that, you know, a duo actually happens. The board... Listen to Pochettino, Pochettino's words of encouragement. I don't know why a football manager does it. My character does not have a moustache, but they put a moustache on my character when I don't have a moustache on my character. Well, here we are, something different. Ex Villa manager Tim Sherwood takes charge at QPR. So we've actually managed to survive this episode by not getting the sack. 
So in the next episode, we will be bringing you Sparta Prague, Man City, and Everton, and hopefully we can keep our job because I'm pretty confident about going through in Europe. But then if we keep losing in the league, it's gonna potentially probably get us a sack. And we're in December the first now, so basically, you know, a lot of managers tend to get the sack around on football manager anyway. A lot of managers tend to get the sack around December, January, February, around them coming months. But just just look at the league form. Lost, draw, draw, loss, loss. Shane Longer, Jordan Oye, both on seven goals. It's just not acceptable this season. Well, it's just this performance ain't acceptable. This time last season, we were like high up in the league. We were in like the top ten at least. Now we're bottom bottom of the bloody league. So thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this episode. Hope you enjoy. Please leave a like, and ho and leave in the comments. Hashtag, don't sack Mills. Okay, or whatever you really want to say. Just, just I don't care, but I do care. But you know, just hope I don't get sacked and I keep my job so I can keep the series going. So thanks for watching, and I'm out.